Good afternoon, Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding areas. How was everybody out there today? I am feeling super glorious, super well. Is that a, is that a way to... I think Actually, so. I should probably go back to school and learn how to speak English correctly. Yeah. You know. You're doing Nobody else knows how to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never was very good in English. Were you? Were you a smart student in school? Um. Yes, she was. Oh, okay. Today we yeah. had, I'm with Carrie Hardy. Very good. And Eric Boat Hardy. And I actually got your name right. Yeah, you and do it, actually. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was like, I, I answered it. Shocking, Ed. right? Why right? well, they don't call you too late for dinner? Yeah, I, I think I got a lot of proof that I've never been late for dinner. <laughs> I don't know. I, oh, I want to <laughs> thank, oh yeah, I want to thank Jackie, the fan who sent me that, tra an orange tray, and then that my hand, my, my orange tray with a separate uh, the compartments on each one so that <laughs> my food won't touch. I thought that she said to here, thank you very much, Jackie. I will take it home and I will uh, wash it and uh, use it. But, but anyway, so thank you for that. And um, It's been an exciting week, but I'm exhausted now. Oh, I know. And it's only Wednesday. <laughs> I know. And tomorrow I have to go to the cancer center and they're going to decide what kind of a program I should have and all that. And they want to take precautions to make sure that it's yep. like that, too. Now, you're telling me that your mother also has a recession from cancer as well? Yeah, breast cancer. Isn't it, you know? See, and, and they can do it. Mm -hmm. Back 30 years ago, they couldn't, because I lost all my family with cancer. Yeah. You know? And you have, what is it, PMS? <laughs> it, it, it's P P PTSD. Oh, PTSD. Well, same thing, isn't it? You got the P and the S right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pain in the ass. <laughs> so you want to tell me what, what that's uh, what it is? And what it, uh, post traumatic stress disorder. Okay, and uh, you know, you always hear about females getting it. You know what I mean? But you don't hear so much about men getting it. Well, PTSD is. Uh, um, it's a form of uh, traumatic shock from, can be anything, it could be from childhood experience, it could be from uh, being in the military, it can be from being in law enforcement, firefighting, I mean anybody can get PTSD, it, it just differs on, uh, defers on its levels and it's what, what the triggers are. Did you, get, did, you have it, or did you get it when you got married? <laughs> I had it before Careful. I got married. <laughs> did she help? Did she help? Does she help? I mean, did she help you get it going? In other words, is she an instigator? Yes, very much. <laughs> Yeah. Look at her. Oh, look at her blood <laughs> this, com this coming from the king instigator. Ah. I would never instigate. Yes. I don't think you would either. No, not me. No. Just like I wouldn't. Right. You know? It's Your always the growing. woman's fault. Right. You know? Your nose is growing. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to disagree with it, that's okay. But we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to do all the. You're getting more comfortable, aren't you? I am, a little yeah, bit, yeah, yep. A little bit, a little shaky, 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 turn it around and shake, <laughs> shake that body. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got, you know, I don't know if you're, sp well, like when you, um, today I felt a little dis despondent. I wasn't really into it. I get saying, why me, you know, I was getting on the pity part and all this stuff. It well, happens. When I'm like that, I just want to be left alone. Yep. Are you the same way? Yes. We just he leave. gets grumpy. Scott is very good about leaving me alone. I, I bitch about nothing. But then I went in and I shed a few tears, you know. Sometimes you need to. Yeah. You know. But it is scary because you don't know. They can tell you. That's like when they can tell you you're healed of all that stuff that you had, that PMS or uh, PTSD. <laughs> what do you call it? PTSD. <laughs> oh, PTSD. Post traumatic stress and don't get it. Oh. Well, no, don't, don't mind me. I have a little <laughs> brain freeze every once in a while, you know. But, you know, but I've had uh, support like there is no belief. Support is so important, like when you supporting me and your wife. And how's your lovely daughter doing? Good. Has she got out of the house yet? You know, boyfriend yet? No boyfriend. <sighs> Working you... home. and She's been off for a week, so we've actually been, we've gone out and done a couple of things and. I've actually got her going away with me next month. 
We're going to Washington, D.C. with uh, well, you my You're going to join the protesters? No, I am not joining any Why? protesters. Why? You and I would. Yeah. If we if we could go and protest against Biden, would you protest? Yeah. Oh. Me too. I'm going. For, I'm going for fun. Well, that's fun. Right. Protesting's <laughs> fun. You know, I'm taking a club with me. <laughs> you know. I went Saturday. I went to New Boston, New Hampshire, and uh, I went into this beautiful house, pretty old, but all Trump supporters. You know, we had a good time. You know, <coughs> wherever I go. <laughs> I try to get rid of my negative energy and get to it positive. By the way, I wanted to, I don't know if I told you that you did a great job when you two had the show. Thank Thanks. So I guess if it happens again, guess who I'm going to be calling? <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yes. Ghostbusters. <laughs> did you enjoy it? Yeah. It was it was. You were terrified. Different. I was terrified. I was watching you <laughs> up, and I go, she's going to calm down. She's going to calm down a little bit there. She'll be fine. And then you finally were able to talk a lot clearer, too, you know. And it's yeah. frightening if you don't, you know, when you're Well, that, like that, that, and it's, it's, a, it's kind of a, uh, a, like a kind of a private, private yeah. thing, and it's hard to, yeah. you know, open up and let Did you feel better afterwards? A little bit. Yeah. And I think the more people talk about stuff like that, the more confident they can know. And not only that. Because yeah, you're, 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 you're getting it out and you're not keeping it all right. bottled up yeah. to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, but people can be, even big, hot looking men like him. Right? Yeah. yeah can <laughs> have it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and it must be traumatic on you, too. I'm sure it's not all easy. No. Sometimes when I, like, but this morning you seemed a little grumpy, so. Not I went, him. I went back down in my room. <laughs> you would never be grumpy, would you? Who's was grumpy. You seemed a little, a, a tad bit, yeah. Oh. You so I, I didn't know if you woke woke up on the wrong side of the chair, so. The chair. <laughs> I got my drink and I went back down the hall. <laughs> the chair. I've heard of the wrong side of the bed. Well, he has to sleep in a recliner, so oh. he hasn't. He has not slept in our bed. In, since 2012. Ooh. So we have to go on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but don't you find, you know, a lot of people just up and walk away. Yep. Mm. You know, you two have divine love. Okay. Because that you, that you ever get. We're stuck. Yeah. It's <laughs> called <laughs> fear. <laughs> it's called fear. Okay. No. <laughs> has, has he ever hit you? Has he ever hit no. you in this? I slap her on the bum every now and then. Oh, no, that's exciting. <laughs> oh. It's exciting. Okay. But do you find? But do you find that you've had to learn how to pay, have patience? Sometimes, yes. Okay. Either I, I'll I mean, say, the, you know, uh, uh, you need you to know. chill out, or I'll just ignore it and go my own little way. Okay. Go for a drive. I gotta go to the store, or hang out somewhere else in the house. <laughs> now, how hard is, is it on your daughter? I don't think she understands it as much. Um, she's got his mentality, so oh. it'll more tick her off than anything. It'll make her angry. She reminds us of who doesn't put up with any BS. No. No, and if she gets mad at you, She's mad at you for, like, God only knows how. <laughs> the kid can hold a grudge. She gets that from her father. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yes, don't yes, just yes. say from her father. No, you... I, I don't hold a grudge, really. But you try. Then it sucks <laughs> that you try and you can't. <laughs> yeah. you, know? you hold a grudge? Yes. And what does that accomplish? Keeps me warm. Does it? Keeps you warm. Fuzzy, <laughs> Keeps you know, me warm. That, you know? But you don't turn to alcohol. No. no. You don't turn to pot. No. The pot's legal where you are. Not for not me. For I'm a federal government. employee. Oh, really? <laughs> See, that's not, you know that's what I have a problem with. <laughs> I want to get the medical marijuana. I'd like to try it. <laughs> huh? I'd like to try it. Maybe just to go to sleep. <laughs> but you're a federal. But you're also a federal employee. Yeah. Well. That's right. You work for customs, right? Uh, no, I work for the passport center. Passport. Okay. Yeah. But it's a government job. Yeah. Yes. You carry a gun, so you shoot him. Nope. Why? Because I don't carry a gun. Oh, I'm an office worker. Well, that's all right. So you smack on them. <laughs> How? I don't. I don't see people. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so you don't interview them? No. So you just go through the paperwork? Yep. Do you say either yes or no? Yes. Out of, we'll say out of 100, how many do you reject? Um, can't go too far into the job. No, I mean percentage. Right, but I mean, I, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I'm not supposed to yeah, talk okay, about it. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's right, government buying the rules. Well, yes. that was even before Biden, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's... But you've been in court a while? Yes, I've been on that side since 2008. Is it a challenge? Sometimes, yep. Sometimes it's a challenge just to go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you, so you don't work out of your house? No. Did you before? Um, no. Nope, I've never worked out of the house. Yeah. I mean, we did shut down last yeah. year yeah. for, right. um, four months, I think. Yeah. It was about four months. They're not allowed to bring that uh, information home. It's because of confidentiality. It's confidentiality yeah. and it's got, got a lot of personal information yeah. in it. Well, wouldn't that be fun to look into that? It would be. <laughs> So it they can't call up other way. But right? you can lose your job. <laughs> so, you, so you can't blackmail anybody. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> well, what good is that? That's I mean, it takes, it takes the fun right out of it. I know. <laughs> Ooh, but, right? Yeah. But anyway, so one of the things that I'm looking at with you, too, is that they like you where you work because you're no nonsense. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. I, and I go along if I, you know, if I get... Um, constructive criticisms or or I've, I've done something wrong I'm like you know show me yeah and you admit to what you do wrong absolutely you know, that, you know that's so many no people you're lying about it <laughs> well probably your husband's fault mm -hmm. probably yeah you know, you're <laughs> somebody right or your dogs they're pushing it lately <laughs> yeah. yes well that's what the evidence <laughs> my son has my granddaughter's dog that they take care of. Oh, she is such a little sweetie. And now I get to the point where my daughter in law takes me to the store. They know. Yeah, you know, you, you, dogs know when you're going somewhere. Now mm -hmm. I have to buy her a toy every time she comes. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. And then my granddaughter just adopted a pool. So I'm going to have to buy two toys. <laughs> you know. But they look, I, I don't, do you agree? I believe the animals know. Oh, I know they know. Oh. Yeah. That's like when my little chicken, she knew what time I was supposed to come home. And before Scott, before Scott came on the show, she would have literally have him sitting out in the driveway waiting for me to come home, <laughs> you know. So don't ever underestimate the, your animal. Love them, love them, oh, love them. No. They're, they, uh, they're so intelligent, they can actually tell the sound of our own vehicles. Out of yeah. all the vehicles that drive up and down the yep. road, they know which, which one's yeah. ours. Yeah. Well, when Tammy used to drive me home, she knew who was going to be home. You know, she told her, or if I come home with another person, but they know when you're going to be there. Don't yeah. ever estimate a child, uh, an animal or a cat. Even the motorcycle. I mean, when he came home yesterday with his, with his motorcycle, um, we picked it up from storage, and he came home a few hours later, and Rocky's head just went, I know that noise. <laughs> my daddy's home. That's my daddy. <laughs> I used to turn for a second. So, uh, well, you have a lot of problems right there, don't you? I do. If it hurts, tell me. Woohoo. You got a lot of tension there, dude. Hmm. Yeah. You mind? Hmm? You're all right. I'm going to try to release some of that tension. Well, I don't do it. The spirit does it. That way, maybe he can get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You've got to come to my office as soon as, soon as I get better. We're going to straighten that back of yours out. Good luck. Oh, we'll have Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, there's, something, there's something in there that... I really believe with the heat of the energy sources, I really believe that we could really, really, I'm not going to tell you, I don't do it. Right. Okay. It's the spirit above that does it. And what happens a lot of times, I've done it a few times, is with a person I'm working the body with, 
and it's going to get real, real hot. Like, you know how wax melts? Yep. Okay, this is what it's going to If it works the way I, I believe it will. Hotter than Reiki? Yeah, hotter than Reiki. It's mm -hmm. another form of Reiki. Right. And then when it starts to heal, it's going to feel like, you know how when you connect the, the, the candles together after it's about to get hardened? Yeah. And it's going to feel like a strong chill. And what's happening, the the nerve endings or whatever is hardening so that the pain cannot come back. I'm not going to tell you I can actually do it because I can't, but I would like, you know, I, I enjoy helping people. I have people come to the office and all that, too, okay? And... Uh, I also, oh, you got a lot of good news coming to you. You got a lawsuit going? Um, I'll tell you the big victory. We'll find out when we talk to the VA guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'll have to get a hold of my friend Don Balder. I don't. I'm attached to a, to a 3M, one of them uh, ambulance chasing lawyer suits for uh, hearing protection. Yeah. But I don't expect to see much out of that. But the thing is, it's going to be a victory. Yeah, I can I can see it being a victory because yeah. it had to do with uh, faulty hearing protection. But I don't see. I'm looking at around twenty-five to thirty grand. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Um, That'll work. <laughs> you get that, you have to take me out to dinner, and I I have very expensive. I'll take you out to dinner without that. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> My clams. You like clams? I do. You like fried clams? Uh, I, I like the strips. Ah, I'm very I'm clean. very particular about my clams. I want I I want to make sure the bellies are clean. So I usually make my own clams. Really? Yeah. I don't know how to cook them. You know, I love steamed clams. Yes. Steamed clams with corn on the cob. You got an old country meal. Yeah. That that's a that's a main meal, isn't it? Yeah, Maine and New Hampshire. Yeah. 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 New England thing. Mine. Oh, you dip them in real butter. I can eat them like that. Yeah, salted butter. Side. It's got to be salted, salted butter. In butter. Oh, I can't have salt, so. All right, we'll give you. Okay. We'll have salt, butter. unsalted butter, but <laughs> yeah. real butter. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with like lobster real, meat. Yeah. yeah so oh, clean out like the lobster, lobster, put it all in the butter, and yeah. then you eat it. I let my daughter bar eat the lobster, or Scott eat the lobster. <laughs> yeah. Normally, what I do is I'll take the clams and put them in fresh water for two or three hours, and they spit all the dirt out of their bellies. It cleans their bellies right out. So that way, when you're eating them, you don't get the the same grip. Yeah, well, that's the best part of the. No. Clam. No. No. That's why I'll do the fried clam strips. Uh, yeah, but then where, where's the clam? You know, you don't get the flavor of the good clam. Yeah. <laughs> and I won't say my. Uh, once I, uh, when I have a hankering for some kind of a meal, I think you'll probably like the other day I wanted fried clams. I called Ollie's on Bass Road in, here in Manchester and got mm -hmm. some. <clears throat> excellent, excellent. I had fried clams and scallops and had it. Ooh. Excellent, excellent meal. And when they, w we called it events, and it was already, it was still nice piping hot when I got it. And then, you ever had that hanker where you got had that certain food? Or right. You keep craving and craving mm. until you get it done? Yep. <laughs> and I'm not really a big piece of it, so I have one of the uh, steak and cheese grinders with the bomb and the mushrooms and the green peppers. And, and we went to a pizza market. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, and by the way, uh, Jackie, all that food that they sent to me from from the restaurant was all in separate plates. <laughs> 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 they had the clams in one plate. And the Don't and like your food touching? Oh, I cannot. I know it's childish, but I think a lot. Do you like your food touching? Yeah, it's all going into the same hole. <laughs> I think a lot to do from childhood, because that's how I was taught how to eat. Because I had trouble learning, because I had a disability of learning how to do this and my hands to move and all that. And ever since then, it's just been. I, and if I don't tell them, and it's my fault, I'll sit there and I'll, you know, push it away. But then I'll eat it, you know. But most people, most restaurants are very obliging. Yeah. Maybe I'll take that tray that Jackie gave me. I'll take that into the <laughs> restaurant and put my foot on it, you know. But uh, I just see. Uh, financially, I'm seeing some more improvement coming. Now, are you renting your house or do you own your house? Well, we... Now, you and the bank. Yeah. And the bank. The bank's got to have their share. Oh, of course. You know, but I do see you remodeling that. And believe it or not, the spirits are delighted that you're bringing that house up to date. Yeah, we're working on it. You have a leaky water faucet. In the bathroom. Yes, we do, in the bathroom. 
Yeah. And under the drain. You know, it's funny. <laughs> I was complaining about that earlier. <laughs> he, he was in the bathroom shaving. My hands were filthy from being in the garden. I was like, so I went in the kitchen to wash my hands. <laughs> God, I can't wait till we get that damn sink fixed. <laughs> Is it an annoying? Yeah. I'm like, I could be washing my hands in the bathroom. Because <laughs> there's two I, sinks I for a reason. <laughs> takes whatever it's that priority was. So we, I don't want to, so we fix our room, you know. And then Scott's going to be doing the out, yeah, yeah, I work out back, I'm doing it out front. I like to make things look better, mm. you know, like the backyard. Yeah, I'm determined this year to get my garden looking right. We've already got some beautiful flowers on my table and we're gonna, on the porch outside. I felt like my, uh, my flower, healing energy flower, and once we put them on that table, you can almost feel that energy bringing yep. the flowers alive, you know? And Scott has such a tender, loving care when he does the flowers. And, you know, so. He's the plant guy. I, I do the outside stuff. He's, he's got a green kitchen. A green kitchen? <laughs> There's flowers. Oh. Or plants. They're you green talk plants. To yes. They talk back? They conspire against me sometimes. I, I believe it. Yes. You know, you know. we did an experiment one time with flowers. I went in this one lodge and one side of the, we had a real loud music for the plants and all that. The other side we had a smooth and Beethoven type. And I one up when the Beethoven type it really thrived <laughs> with the ones that had a rock and roll. So we swap them around. And you know what? They do thrive on a beautiful music. That's like, believe it or not, animals. Like if you want cows to milk and, you know, you kick them in the bottom and then you pull the tail. <laughs> First time, I'll never forget, they I, never, I went and went, worked on a farm. They said, now when you milk that cow, you got to pull the cow's tail. <laughs> so I did three times. And I peed all over me. <laughs> Wasn't very nice, but you know. But you know what? I had the best time. Living on that bar for that whole summer, I had a, I learned a lot. I think that'd be neat. I'm sorry. That would be neat to try. Yeah, you know, I learned how to drive a truck, even though it tipped over. We got to back up, right? I kept on a whole truck. Cause back then we didn't have the bailer. You put it over, you know. Right. The, but I, I felt good, you know. I felt like I was, you know, alive. Yeah, a little pep in step. Yeah. Did you look, did you ever go haying? Yes. You live on a farm? No. How'd you go hay? Hmm? You got hay with some friends of yours? Uh, no, they we used to have a on the road I lived, grew up on. They used to hay the field across from it, and the uh, the guy that drove the tractor would pay us money to to throw the the bales up on the uh, on the That's what my brother used to do. Good exercise. Yeah, I did. I felt like you know, okay, and and they might put why would they when I went back to school. You know, yeah. but one thing that you know, life. I I think I I, and I know you do too. Life. I really learned a whole lot more. Not just because I have the thing there, but I go walking every day, and I just appreciate what we have in life today. Right. I try not to be negative. There there are times like when I go poor me, whiny, you know, like when my son has been sick, my grand, my daughter-in-law had had uh, been sick, and my and Scott. And I'm there, why are you punishing What did we do that was so wrong? Then I look around and I see all these people that are drugs and alcohol, you know, whatever. Yeah, they and you're like, well, I guess But I don't know what that. they, yeah. <laughs> right. But I, 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 then I have to say, hey, wait a minute, I don't know what they're going through. Who the heck am I to judge? Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm not to be the judge what anybody else can do, you know. Like when Mary, I think she's a sweetheart, you know. She, she, she and her friends were on my show two weeks ago. And they gave me that watch. Yeah, I got my watch and I got my bracelet and they gave me this. And I have a beautiful picture of Manchester they gave me and a, a hat and a little globe, mm -hmm. you know, they gave me. So very much appreciated, you know. Absolutely. You, know. you have a lot of caring people. <coughs> yeah, over 350 well wishes. I, I had no choice but to get better. Same with you, you know. I know that you, you've got, how often you had the outburst? Um, Did they subside now? I mean, are they as bad as they were? They're getting worse. Well, you mean the PTSD or the pain? The P P T P M S. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it right one day. Yeah, I, I would say, 
I don't think they're getting worse, worse. I just think no, not uh, the PTSD. No, no it's just uh, I don't. I, certain things will trigger me, um, like uh, you know, my daughter loves to sneak up on me when I'm in my computer room. I mean, there's there's certain trigger objects. Um, she'll come into the kitchen, drop something, just that loud noise. Will, will cause it, but I mean, this, I mean, this trigger items. This trigger, I mean, this this triggers for everything. Um, Do but, you feel it coming on? Mm, sometimes, when uh, when it's more emotional than it is uh, um, brought on by sound or action, but um, yeah, you know, like a lot of times, um, like if I'm in, in a lot of pain because of the uh, you know what's going on with my neck and everything um sometimes that can trigger it you know a lot of times when she thinks that i'm angry it could either be the fact that i'm trying to fight the pain because i don't want to take the medication but then it also brings on some ptsd moments because then i think why i'm in pain and all the things that cause the pain the, the submarine fire you know everything that happened to me. I, you know, just the mind starts working, and then you know. So. You were in a submarine fire. Yes. In the navy. No, I was actually a, I was a civilian <coughs> firefighter working on the Portsmouth <coughs> Naval Shipyard in Kittery. Well, when somebody set fire to a submarine. Was that the newspaper? Not yes. <coughs> yeah, I remember yeah. reading about that. <coughs> yeah, um, March twenty third, two thousand twelve. Yeah, I remember at five p.m. What happened to the guy that did it? He's in jail. He's in Fort Dix, New Jersey. You mean to tell me Biden had to release him? Can't. He can use that executive power and say, oh, he didn't know what he was doing. Uh, if he does, I s don't see him coming home because it's not safe for him here. There's no, a lot of people no. that are angry with him. Yeah. Well, look at Hinckley. They want to get him out. He's already out on house arrest or something like that. The one that shot at, at uh, Reagan. Yeah. And the other one, you know. Oh, I don't pay much attention to the news because no, there's nothing good news. on there. No, I don't watch the news anymore. <laughs> I catch it on the radio when I'm driving. I don't even own a radio. I've never owned a radio. Never once. Only in a car. I don't think we have one really in the house, do we? Other just than one, just the, the one laptop. On, no, the one in the garage. Yeah. yeah, we do still have a radio in the garage. <laughs> I, used to, I used to have one of the old fashioned uh, record players. We used to call the, the trollers. Yep. With the 45s, and you put the thing in and you put them on the. <laughs> the little disc thing yeah. there to hold them on there. But that was music back then. Mm. Yeah. I'm not saying today isn't music if people like it, but they promote so much violence. Maybe we did it not even know it. You know, back in the, you know, the, the Holly Gully days and all that. You ever do the Holly Gully? No. No, you ever do the twist? Yes. That was cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. But it's a back good then, exercise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the sad part, and I think about it, back then you could go out and have a good time. You know, you go and you, you know, we used to have street dances in Lebanon, New Hampshire, okay? Every Thursday, I think it was. Everybody get together. Nobody got thought about shooting each other. Nobody thought, thought about it, you know? If there was a fight, they, they would, you know, you didn't know, nobody shot anybody or anything right. like that. Then I used to go to the dance in Canada, New Hampshire. And everybody had good fun. You fought, you got over it, you didn't bring knives, you didn't bring, you know, saying, you know. I think even in, in our age bracket, um, hey, we were I still going. That age bracket. Well, no, I'm in, <laughs> in the 50s, like, yeah. when, you know, I was born in 71, so mm -hmm. we were allowed and it was safe to go ahead and go down the road yeah. to your friend's yeah. house, you know, and come home as it's starting to get dark. But nowadays, you wouldn't want to do that by yourself. Isn't that somebody to snatch you. Yeah. You know, everybody talks about the, the virus, the virus, the virus, the virus, the virus. Yeah, it's real. But, you Absolutely. know, and all these people that are saying, oh, where am I? I look out in the park. I have not seen any of the children out there playing wearing a mask. I have not seen the adults wearing a mask. 
And I said to one lady, I said, how do you want a bud supporter? Because you had that other. I said, then why don't you practice with what he tells you to do? Wear that mask, wear a triple mask. So at least you got the car and took off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should have to wear it outside. I mean, I just... And doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no. you know? You're outside in the fresh air. I don't wear it outside. When, when I'm with my daughter in law, I do. And out of respect for her. And if I go to the yeah. market basket, I do out of respect. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. I wear it in the stores where it's required. And it comes off dinner, when I come out that door. When I go out to dinner, I went, I went I'll go into the restaurant, but at the table. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. And uh, but I think it's you know it should be up to the individuals. You know. By the way, whenever you want good pizza, I gotta tell you about this. But another pizza place is uh, Elm House on Elm 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 House on Pizza on Elm Street here. Very good pizza. Do they deliver to Maine? <laughs> Maybe. You never know. You know. But I'm not a big pizza eater. I'm getting them no, all the way. I'm not. I like grinders. Yep. And I love fish. I'm more of a sub person. Yeah, than... me too. I actually went to um, to uh, Burger King did it yesterday. I'm not a big, but this one's actually they did an actually an excellent job. I uh, went yesterday. Yeah. Did you <laughs> yes. Burger King? Yeah, because um, I was really hungry after I had I had spent the morning. Um, I had taken my mother to the hospital to have a procedure done, Ooh. and then. I took him to go pick up his motorcycle, and I was like, I'm really hungry, so I you just stopped You didn't push him off the motorcycle? No. Thought about it? No. Oh, oh okay. You probably did. I said, you coming right home? He says, nope. I said, okay, bye. <laughs> Have fun. But I actually, I can't complain. You know, we got it. We brought it home. But it actually was quite good. Yep. You know? And then we went to McDonald's. <laughs> not, not two days before that, I went to McDonald's. Had to, I had to get all this stuff out of my system. Right? You know, <laughs> Sometimes but, you're just yeah. craving that yeah. greasy. McDonald has the best coffee. Yes. I don't do coffee. No. You like that coffee too? I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah they're, new, they're new ones. Yeah. And then, of course, I was in a hurry. Lucky it was cold. So all my brand new pants. I just bought them. I was so sad. You know, so I got mad to the rest of the way. I don't know. <laughs> Not that it hurts the coffee. That'll teach me. It. Yeah. <laughs> But then we went to, I love Dairy Queen. You have one up where you live? We do, and I've been fighting it. I almost picked it up yesterday. Oh, they had the best. Now, I was kind of disappointed because I used to have the lettuce, tomato, and cheese on it. And they did have the cheese and bacon, but without the tomato and lettuce. And I pulled the lettuce off anyway. But just the idea. They put too know. much lettuce on. Yeah, you know. <laughs> And they do kind of have fries, and my daughter on likes their blizzards. Yeah, they do have pretty good food, but I, I almost stopped yesterday and grabbed some blizzards and brought them. The one here on 2nd Street, let me tell you, they got a, a traffic that line all the way around. Is it a year away, too? Um, it, it will, on a good day. In well, the this summer. is every day. And what the bad part about it is, is the one in Kittery is on the traffic circle. <laughs> Talk about food, mm. <laughs> making me hungry. Right? <laughs> yeah. How about you? Are you a big eater? I can eat. You, He's I, an evening eater. Huh? He's an evening eater. He doesn't eat a whole lot during the day. He likes a big meal at night. Yeah. Well, isn't that and the old country? Snacks. No, the country farmers had a big lunch. Then they have a small dinner. Um, if I remember Scott. myself. Too. Scott. <laughs> And they have a small, you know, lunch, and, uh, you know, in the farm. And so. But when my mother, my foster mother, bless her heart, let them, we'd have a good breakfast, a good dinner, and a good supper. Yes. Supper. Uh, that's U-P-P-A. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I heard that word, supper, I said, what the hell is supper, you know? <laughs> when I considered supper uh, from 7 to 9 at night or 12. But I said, oh. It wasn't called lunch, it was called dinner. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what do you miss about your childhood? And you think about it too. Doing things with my family. Every year we went camping. Um, growing up, like when I was in high school, my back when you could, my father would load up all of our friends. <laughs> 
in the back of his pickup. That was fun. Drive up by the Kangamangus to a swimming hole to take a swimming. <laughs> Run the back of the truck. All in the back of the truck. <laughs> Who, nobody thought about... The fairs, they'd load us all up in the back of the truck to go to the fairs. No seat belts, nothing, you know, you know I, just... I used to speak in the truck. standing up in front of the, ca uh, the cab, hang on to the yep. wall there, and sit in the back there, and then, then you, or a station wagon with the door open, you know. Who yep. thought about, nobody thought anything about that. Nope. And you can't even put your dog in the back anymore. Yeah, no. No. What do you remember? I miss my fort. Your fort? Yeah, I built a uh, I built a huge fortress in the trees, out in the woods, <laughs> and uh, I even to the point where I had a uh, pulley system where I could put my dog on it, and bring my dog up, so he'd be up in the, and I had walkways. I mean, it it was it was a great fort. Uh -huh. So, and, and you didn't have a lot of money, right? No. Nope. And you did your own. You, you, you I didn't have to. No. It's amazing how you could create. Does mm -hmm. it cost much? I mean, there was not far up the road from us, there was a, um, into the woods, there was this little, a spot to go fishing. And we brought the tents up there with, you know, it was my mother and my father and my brother and I, um, and I think a couple of my father's friends. And we slept in the tents and they fished and. You know, that's you like know. they have a dam where I grew up now and uh, called uh, McDaniel's Marsh Pond. I can remember when the river did. I can remember when they first built that, that uh, dam. And now I went by there. I think it was like eight or nine years ago. It's nothing but a big mass of water. Mm -hmm. And over at my dad, where my dad's house was, there's nothing but woods. And up on the hill. But I can remember walking into the woods, and I had my own. I think I only knew I was different, but because I had my own little kitchen, I had my own room. <laughs> room there. But I always played by myself. I never had friends around me. I used to like to climb in the trees. Mm. Me too. Especially I was in a tree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and this is, you can, even as a child back in the day, you found ways of amusing yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, like you said, with your fort, yep. you know, you found many, many ways of, of doing it. Um, playing matchbox cars with my brother in a dirt driveway, making roads and parking lots for the cars. Yeah. And in the winter time, I did have some friends that would go snow, would go uh, sliding. My brother-in-law would put a rope on a sled and would hook it onto the rear bumper, <coughs> and we'd go down the highway, you know. <laughs> and if the car was coming, you'd blow the horn, it would all scoot over. You can't do that today because you'll get arrested. Right. You know what I'm saying? How all, you know, all the you fun. You get hurt that way. <laughs> so you heal. Right? Mm -hmm. You know. And we never thought about that. We'd hang on, away we'd go, you know, or we'd go on a toboggan. One time we almost yep. went over the bridge, you know, and you had fun. And my foster mother would make homemade donuts for us, or take popcorn and make popcorn balls. My mother used to make <laughs> Or a caramel on ice, you know, snow. I was up, we were up the road skating, um, me and a group of my friends, and my mother made hot chocolate in a thermos and sandwiches and brought it up there. I was embarrassed. My friends were like, that's awesome. <laughs> See, and, and this is it. You know, you had fun. Yeah. You had fun, you know. Of course, at Halloween, as I got older, we took a manure spreader <laughs> and we filled up full of manure. We put on this guy's porch step so when it moved, it would just somehow the manure would go all over the place. Somehow. Yeah. And then we had a bag of poopy poop and put it, light it in front of, in front of another lady, <laughs> you know, but that was good fun. Well, you toilet paint, you know, in the wall, you know, <laughs> nobody got hurt. Trees. No. You know, nobody, and, you yeah. know, and you, you, today you don't even dare, because if you, I wouldn't even let my child go trick or treating today, you never know what you're going to find. Nope. And it's so, they shouldn't have to be that way. You just, yeah. wet, even the, um, the older Brittany got, it was more just areas I knew. Mostly to family, but when she was when she was younger, we, the best place to go would be the Kittery Village. We just go when, through there, and then that's it. We're going home. Yeah. When my stepchildren were growing up in Laconia, every park house, every you know, there were like three, four different. They were all the park associations would have a Halloween party for the kids. You don't hear about that anymore. No. The, I don't know why they have taken the fun out of being a child. Yeah, now they've mm. got trunk or treat. Yeah. Well, that was because of COVID. Yeah. 
Right, but I, I believe they had it that. in some places prior to that. Oh, I don't know. But now, I mean, they, they literally take it, like, big, they used to have a couple of center villages in Laconia when they, I think the COVID did a lot on that. But the things have changed so much, yep. you know, and it's scary, you know. You know, now you've got, you keep getting notices about candies that aren't candies, they're drugs, but they look like candy. It's like. Yeah, well, one of my friend's children went, you know, and like you just said, they got a drug, it looks like a, uh, remember those little corn, candy corns? Yeah, the candy you, corns. And it went just like one of them, he almost died, because by that it was laced with some kind of a drug. Hmm. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. People really get nothing better to do? No. I'm scared for children growing up today. Yeah. I truly am. You Absolutely. Know? I miss the good old fashioned days when they put razor blades and uh, needles in the apples. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Whatever happened to that good old fun? Yeah. <laughs> I got accused of it. I said, yeah, I got five tech children. I'm going to do that. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And you know what? And I got beaten, you know, by my dad and stuff. I came out okay. I don't say beating is okay, but I don't think a spake on the butt hurts. Absolutely not. It hurts you. It hurts the person. It hurts your it. feelings and yeah. everything at the time, and yeah. And, and they don't suffer the cost. The pro and you know, I feel sorry for teachers today. Yes. They're forced to be teaching subjects they don't even want. Maybe not even want to teach. Um, they're forced to. And, uh, oh, my child would never do this, or my child would never do that. Yeah. Now, if I got accused of doing it, nine times ten, I did it. You got the the snowflake moms yeah. out there now. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> and, and that's the sad thing. Why that let their like children that? do everything and anything they want. It's okay. And then, and I hate it. Oh, if somebody goes and breaks a window and a store window, or someone has a, uh, you know, steals. It. Oh, they had a bad childhood. I did too. Yeah. And that doesn't mean I'm gonna go break a window. Right. <laughs> you know, and you know, so although I did. So, break into a store one day, took things I didn't need. And I'll tell you what, I learned the best lesson out of that. The guy whose store I broke into, I, I think I was like 16 or 17, broke into a store and uh, didn't say anything, and he said, okay. I had, I could have paid it all off. I had to go every two weeks to pay that guy. Hmm. You know how hard that was? And how embarrassing that was? Yeah. But I learned Never did it from, again. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're supposed to learn from mistakes, not, oh, not say, oh, it's okay, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. You know, you can yeah. do it. You know, no, it's not okay. And Everybody's I a winner. <laughs> and they are. And if you follow what you're supposed to be following, God, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Almost. I, you know. <laughs> I am perfect. You are perfect. Oh, okay, that's why I'm getting there, you know, one step at a time, you know. <laughs> and actually, as weird as this sounds, I'm glad I got this sickness. Because it makes me appreciate life even more, and it makes me appreciate that I have a better understanding with people. When I was blind for many, many years, then I got my eyes out. That I became I'm really appreciative. Right. Okay. And w w will you go like what you've gone through and what you've gone through by putting up with his, you know, PMS or post-traumatic stress or whatever you want to call that stuff? <laughs> I think PMS sounds better. Right. <laughs> 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 Call and yell at me, folks, if you want. Or if you want a reading, 603, I mean 640-3091. But, uh, but I think that if we l learn from our lessons in life, like you've learned a lot, you've come a long way, would you agree? I, yeah. yeah. And don't you find that you learn something new every day? I try to. Yeah. I try to learn at least one new thing a day. When kicking somebody in the head, that's okay. If they deserve it. Yeah, as long as they don't hurt you. Oh, if they hurt me, it gets worse on them. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm only kidding, folks. I'm not going to tell you, don't kick somebody in the head. No, that's right. Too. But no. One of the things that I, I will never come a lot, but i got to tell you, Scott has been such a blessing. You know, when I had to have a, a, wear a catheter, oh, they were walking, I fell asleep. Oh, God, when I forgot to put the cat back on the catheter. Very, Patiently cleaned it up. Or when I had to do the drainage thing, very, very carefully helped me with it. And if this is what love is all about, then that's cool. Well, yep. you would do the same thing for your Absolutely. husband. Absolutely. And you would do the same thing for her. Sure. After you got through being a, 
And he brings, you know, he brings food into me, you know, like dinner and lunch or whatever. And I, I'm not going to eat today. Blah, 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 blah. I'll go on a trip. He just goes about, cooks up breakfast, cooks up dinner, whatever, and just brings it in, you know. You know, then I end up eating it anyway. Because <laughs> I get one of those, you know. So, if we look at, my, when Mike and Tammy, my son and daughter, when, and I am so grateful for them being my granddaughter, if we look at our family, like with your daughter, you, you only have one child, right? Correct. Correct. And, no, and you, when you learn how to appreciate, and you do appreciate her. Absolutely. And you do too. She's already had to take on that role <laughs> when we were both sick. He had just had surgery and I was ill. She was taking care of both of us. <laughs> And I bet she did a great job. She did. It's amazing how people can do She that. helped him. The, the two of them did the grocery shopping because I couldn't do it. Um, they took turns bringing me she food. She was very bossy. And helping me I do bet. things. I bet. Rude. Yeah. Not <laughs> you. Oh. Yeah. Your daughter, yeah, yeah. My daughter wants to be that way too. Make sure they come to vacation. Make sure she comes over to your house and make out my paperwork. And like tomorrow she'll go with me to the cancer center there and she comes in with me. and so. Oh, because my son can't do any of the sickness he's going through. But, you know, folks, you've got to learn to learn how to appreciate your family. They're the only ones you got. Yep. And I, I hate to hear, oh, I can't wait for my son or daughter-in-law or my, or my mother or all that. I don't you know what I mean. I can't wait for When they talk about negative, I say, yeah, maybe they had a bad childhood. But you know what? You can change that around. Mm. Yep. I don't believe in all that pity pot stuff, yep. you know. Um, but everybody can help each other. I'm very fortunate in the block I live in, the neighbors I live in, we all talk to each other, we all look out for each other, except for one person, but that's okay. And uh, so, and the street's pretty decent. I think we got that on our yeah. road. Yeah. yeah, we have a... Yeah, yeah. there's a... When I look across the street though, and I and I see the children that it met me earlier, and like when I see them going to school, they wear them. I, all I can think of is the concentration camp when they wear their masks and mm. stuff like that, you know. But one of the things that I do look at with you is that you're going to be there for where you're working now. You've been there for a long, long time. I have been there. I've been there since '98. '98, 208, 10, 218 is 20, 20, almost 30 years. I don't be so precise. 23. Is she always that precise? Mm -hmm. no. Actually, 23 this year, yeah. in February. When I see you going to 30. Because you're not going to retire. Oh, God, no. <laughs> well, knowing that, it's a good income. And, and no, the benefits you can't are afford to. No, that's what I'm saying. But you also have good, you have good benefits? Yes. Okay. Yep. You know, so, but it, it's a good income. You know, I'm not saying you're going to rich, but at least you can make a living with it. Yes. And you stress over everything very easily, don't you? Yes. Well, he does too. In a different way. Yeah. You ready? Sure. Shuffle. What are they going to see you? Are you in management right now? No. Do you want to become management? <laughs> no. Or are you going to be off in two? I actually think you'll make a good manager. I don't want that trouble. I think manager. she would make an excellent. I keep talking <laughs> to her about it. That's because he keeps trying to push it. <laughs> That's because you don't have confidence in yourself. I don't know if it's... That's probably part of it, but I, I just... I, I see what some of them go through, and I really don't want that headache. <laughs> I have two of my friends that work for the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. Mm -hmm. All the things they tell me that they have to put up with when there's managers and all directors and all that is unbelievable. Right. Yeah. And half the directors don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's a lot of government work. The, high, the higher up you go, the less they uh, they know. Yeah, and more you can sleep. Yeah. <laughs> that's the nice <laughs> so You can hire other people to do it for you. Right. Take out five, my young lady. It's funny that you say that. Young you lady, I got carded the other day. Did you? The woman looked at my license and went, are you serious? <laughs> I want to give a $10 tip. I was like, yes, ma'am. And I pointed at Brittany. I said, that's mine. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I want to give a $10, $10 tip. tip. It was I, at Walmart. I haven't been carded in 30 years. <laughs> no. It was at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Did they even know how to go? No tip down? there. <laughs> yeah. Did they even know how, to go, how high to go? 
Matter of fact, I don't think I was carded even when I was a teenager. Oh, I wasn't when I was a teenager. Oh, that's because you were already like 10 feet tall. <laughs> when I was a teenager, we go to this guy in Wilmot, New Hampshire. He had a store. We gave you a hat throw him, and I had a paper I'd sign the fall stand and go and buy beer. No problem. I got your paper right here. I go, yep, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, no picture ID. I can say no, it wasn't, you know. But um, but as you get older, you're like, God, did I do all of these things? You know? Then I think about. I didn't, though. The things that I did <laughs> back when, you know, before now, like when I think about what I did like 30 years ago or 40 years ago. God, I'm telling my age now, but that's okay. <laughs> and I tell you, my, to where I've been, I can't believe it. And the success that I've been having. But I also know this, that every step in our life is a learning experience to help you progress into a better way of doing and things. And you're still here. I wouldn't be where I am today. Ooh, you have a secret admirer. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and he's sitting right next to me. And we won't tell anybody. <laughs> You can be flirtatious. I don't think you need to be, but that's your personality. Yep. And I think you have learned how to live with this and who she is. You know, kidding around. She's a very, you know, as far as beyond that goes, no, because you're very dedicated and one time marriage isn't enough. Yep. Okay. Oh, God, yes. You're not going to be like four times, right? Rude. <laughs> I think you had a sore spot there. <laughs> but I also will tell you that you have, you love, boy, you do like your outdoor flowers, don't you? You love your I do. It's just, my body doesn't like me doing them. <laughs> you know what? Don't let your body run your life. No, and that's what I've been, I yesterday I succeeded in raking out both sides and I raked up all the dug stuff yeah, did, did you feel on better? the lawn. And did I was proud had, of myself. Yeah, you had aches and pains. I did. But then a hot shower does work. And hard breathing. <laughs> yeah. You know. Ooh, hard breathing. Well, I've done that. Because she saw me out in the yard. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Do you talk to your flowers? No. Why not? She talks to herself. <laughs> that's scary. That's scary. Yeah. I answer, too. And that's <laughs> real. Right? That's usually when I turn around and walk away. Yeah. I'm like, okay, there's somebody there. I actually see you putting a lot more flowers in. You're not done putting flowers in. Nope. You, you got to double what you put in, like last year, for instance. Yeah, yeah. You know. That wouldn't be hard because I yeah. didn't do and it. And I actually much. see you putting in some hedges. You are really magnified. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, the spirits that live in that house with you, they are actually quite pleased at what you are doing with that house. Your neighbors are very jealous of you. Really? Yeah. Because you're upgrading your house. Have you done a lot of work on the outside too? Um, no, we put a new mailbox up. Yeah, that's a I can't hit our old one. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, because you're making the house look good. Yeah, you know, and we're you, working on it. Yeah, and one step at a time. Yep. But you also appreciate what you have, you know, mm. and everything. Yep. I got new doubt put a casino in there. Put a casino in yeah. my house? <laughs> Make all the people think that you got a wild place there. Right. You know, but no, you don't do. But the one thing also about you is that I do see you, you and your husband going on some weekend trips. You don't have to take your dogs with you. No. no. Okay. <laughs> you like camping? I do love camping. Do you sleep in a tent? I can't anymore. <laughs> on the ground? <laughs> I, I did a couple years ago. With all the bugs in there. Yep, a couple years ago, um, Brittany and I went camping. She wanted to go camping for her birthday, so we went for a long weekend. And uh, getting in and out of the tent was just. My idea of camping is running an SUV or uh, one of those camping things for the night and all that stuff. Not camping. I don't mind sleeping in a tent. It, it, it was just the getting in and out of the tent and up and down. It's like, okay. But people are ruining that again? too. You know, you get a lot of alcohol and a lot of other. Yeah. The sad part is people are not taking care of that, you know. And I don't know why people feel that they have, because they're renting the site, or well, we can do whatever we want, right. you know, and it looks bad. But know. they, ha a lot of them have rules, like it, we usually camp um, off the Kangamangas. What the hell is the Kangamangas? The highway. Now, wait a minute. 
How long have you lived in New Hampshire? <laughs> a long, long time. The, the White not, Mountains, the Kangamangas Highway. It goes from it goes from uh, Conway to uh, uh, what is? It's it right go, off it, of sixteen. It yeah, it goes right from Route Six. It goes from Route sixteen to Route ninety. Is it ninety three? Yeah, I don't know. Went to North Conway. Yeah, yeah. I, I think maybe once I was in the White Mountains. I've never been up that yeah, way. Yeah, it's uh, it's got the Kangamagus has got um, forest parks and camping all up and down that, and there's a. Don't they have a big the waterfall river. up there? Um, they got a bunch of, uh, of there waterfalls. There is, and stuff. yeah. There's one that we we had went to and hiked up. That book killed me. Yeah. I think that's <laughs> why. You, that's how you get to Berlin, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. And I get, oh, that place used to smell. Berlin. Berlin, New Hampshire. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. We didn't go that far. But. Was it a tannery or something they had there? Yeah, called the factory series and beyond the veil. You're really becoming more and more you. Okay, stop trying to lose the weight. You got you try too hard. And then, then you say blaze it. I won't use the other word. Blaze it, and you're gonna go to McDonald's or Dairy Queen or whatever because you're. Um, their body frustrated. needs that frustration. You're trying to. That's why I go once in a while, just so I don't have. I don't recommend hypnosis for you. Really? Next month it will be seven, year, eight years that I've had a cigarette. Really? Yeah. I was sitting in this chair, actually, and my coach was sitting there. I looked like a fat whale when he was hypnotizing me. <laughs> my belly was like, oh my God. You know? <laughs> but. I haven't had a cigarette since, so it's been eight years, so hmm. I saved a lot of money. Yep. Yeah, my doctor has actually made the statement a couple of times about if I've ever thought of having the surgery done. I'm like, nope. I've seen too many people, my friend John Bright had it done, he looks good, but too many people say that how would they start eating all over again? And yeah, or, or, it, or it doesn't work, or yeah. you drop it too fast and it makes you look twice as old as you are. Yeah, yeah instead of probably, you know, then she can have a method of what they remove the tummy and you start losing. That should be a way that they should include the, uh, you know, the tummy tucks here. Yeah, and but they that. don't include that. That's separate. Yeah. And not all no, the time will the insurance money. cover yeah, it. No. But I would tell you that I do see you losing the weight. But don't try so hard. Okay. Do a lot more walking. I'm working on that. And like working on your flower bed, trust me, you lost about three pounds. Because you're being active. You still don't have your butt too high up because you might get nasty ideas. Plus, <laughs> you'll bring it up higher. <laughs> I want to start walking our shepherd. Yes. She needs it. She loves to walk, right? If like she Eric loves said, to be outdoors. Eric said this morning, if we put a bed out there, she would stay out there 24-7, even in the wintertime, and she would be fine. Some dogs like that. My, my father had a St. Bernard. And we keep that out, all, 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 unless it was really blizzard. Up, they keep it out there at night to bring them in or whatever. Yeah. But they, you know, over like a lot of your foreign countries, like Russia and all them, they don't bring their dogs in. Yeah. No. They don't. You know, they feed them. They don't give them go out into the store and buy dog food all that. They give them what they have left, Table like scraps. scraps and all that. And my father, that they survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, th think back in the old days. When uh, you know, like in the cowboy days, you ever watch the Rifleman? Yes. Yes. I love that show. I like that house. The house reminds me of what my foster grandfather <laughs> had. You know, and you see them out there. You don't see them in the house being fed with dog food and stuff like that. Nope. Outside in a tin tin pan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the water, you know, and they were happy. You know, you have a big fence so they can't run out. You know, but back then, see, that's the thing I miss is. All the so-called modernization, you gotta go, if you get a dog, you gotta get the rabies shots, you gotta get a license, you gotta get all this stuff. And aren't, isn't the government telling you what you gotta do with your pets? Yep. In the Humane Society? You gotta have them my, registered. My son was gonna adopt a cat or a dog, or, and because they were like three months on getting their cats shot, they said no, because their cat shots were not up to date. And they had just got the show. So I don't understand that. Hmm. You know, you know. My 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 dogs get the minimum amount of shots that they need, and, and I've never had any problems. Yeah, right. <clears throat> so 
same way with my little chihuahua. I didn't have it. I got a shot. And they get what they need to get registered. That's it. Yeah. And nothing. It's just another way for the, the doctor to make money and the, the city to make money. You think yep. ten dollars uh, to license your dog? That all adds up. You get like we'll say a thousand. And goodness, if you forget, it's twenty five dollars <sighs> yeah. a dog. Yeah. I had that happen one yeah. year. Yeah. I, I don't think it's reasonable. I don't think it's right. I think it's a violation Absolutely of our rights. Not. They're forcing you to do it. You know. Well, that's going to prevent them from having rabies. That's not. No. Right. If your dog is in your house, and you go to a walk with you on a leash, then how are you going to get the rabies? Right. Unless yeah. that animal comes out and bites your animal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's going to be rare because I'll bite it back. Right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. And, but that's just my own. See, there again, that's a non-government control. Yep. You know. Well, how can you say that? Because how do you know that, you know, blah, 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 you know? Well, because it's not going to get rabies, just my dog because. Was, yeah. <laughs> I would take my dog out on a leash and she'd go right out. And she, she wasn't much for being outdoors so often. She liked coming right back in the house. Yeah, you know? no. Santa yeah. would stay out there forever. Rocky would stay out. He stays out and then... He's like, wait a minute, I've been away from Daddy too long. I need to go back. Well, that's Daddy's dog. Huh? <laughs> and he lets people know. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Eric was outside this morning showing a friend of ours his bike, the, the new upgrade he got, and Rocky was in the house and whining. And I'm like, dude, he's not going anywhere. He's just outside. Hmm. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> they do head that way, don't they? Well, that's like, well, you know what I found amazing is that my cat, well, she adopted us, or he adopted us, with, and then I went to go out to the hospital overnight, two different, the minute that cat saw me, it was so heartbreaking, I said, thrilling, the cat literally jumped on the couch and laid down beside me yep. to make sure I was okay. And that's what's cool about it, they don't betray you. You have a lot of trust issues, don't you? You can be too trusting. And then you can, then when they ruin your trust, you can cry for hours. Yes. And your husband says, well, I told you not to. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and he rubs it in. You know. But sometimes, but then you're learning not, but yet you do it all over again. Yeah. You know, okay, you know, I trusted them, well, they're going to be okay the next time. I'm the same way. I had to learn yeah. the hard way, too. I, I've done that a a few times, you know. We've been bitten. Yeah. Just okay. around like, allowing people into our house and living, living you know, helping them out. And but they go around and... been bitten a couple times on that, but the one now is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have a border? Yeah, <laughs> uh, a friend just staying with us. <laughs> yeah, a gentleman, a gentleman that I'm, I used to work with who was going through a nasty divorce, he's been with us for two years. Two years. Well, pays this year, that's all it matters. Yep. He, he helps out with yeah, he, he helps out with some of the, the grunt work and <laughs> stuff that he, stuff that he military, can't do, yeah. you know. But he enjoys it. Yep, he yeah. enjoys it. I mean, he'll even do stuff for my mother and I'm like, you don't have to, you can't tell But he that. enjoys your mother. Yeah. He, he really does. And if she <laughs> And when your mother did a bad mood, she, he knows how to make her happy. Yeah, and he'll just well, you can do it. <laughs> you know? And she enjoys having to do it for him. Yeah. She enjoys him. She's got a crush on him. <laughs> yeah. Is he an older gentleman? Um, no. No, he just turned No, 30... he's young enough to be my son. Okay. <laughs> just about. Yeah. But well, he, he has, your mother has 31? Yeah. No, he's not 31. No. 35. 35. I don't see him leaving for quite a while. It's he's all right. Getting... We're all right with that. Yeah. I mean, he's like your adopted brother. Yeah. Yeah, He's more, gonna like it, more like an adopted son because I tell him and Brittany all the time, children. <laughs> they love to argue with each other. Yes, they do. Yes. <laughs> and Brittany will instigate it. Yes, she does. <laughs> well, he does too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's like are they loving each other? No. Okay. They no. just like sister and brother. Yeah. He would want more, but she can't get it. I don't know because he he does currently have a girlfriend. Yeah. No, he's. Uh, He's very particular. 
Yeah, I mean, she is within his style of woman that he wants. But, um, yeah, I think he respects the boundaries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, he knows that you would mess him up. Well, even before that, I think, I just think that just the fact that it's... You're, you're friends and that's more, yeah. friend's and he daughter. Not wanna, <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't want to ruin the friendship. No. no. Nor would he want to ruin his relationship, no. current relationship. Yeah. This woman that he went married to, she really was a psycho, huh? <laughs> yes. She couldn't take it for a lot of things. Yes. That she lost a lot, too. Well, but you know what? This is a growing phase for him. Yeah, the, the divorce still isn't final. It's been two years. Because they finally got a court date. So. Well, it's, it's going to be another court date. It's a preliminary it's court date. It's going to be continued for another two years. Probably. Because See, she wants to live in the house rent free. She doesn't want to pay for anything. I mean, she's she's asking for so much. So it's much. just crazy. Everything. Oh, yeah. Isn't that sad? And there's no kids involved. <laughs> and she can work. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she's she's highly educated. Yeah, and she underemploys herself. Oh, I'm glad. Welcome to Norm's Community Corner. Okay, welcome to you too. Hey. How you doing? Hey. I'm doing great, Mary. How are you doing? Oh, not too bad. Hey, Mary. Not too bad. Yeah, this girl Jackie, you might know, her. she gave me uh, sent me an orange uh, tray with separate things on there, like. For my potatoes, for my vegetables, all on separate yeah. trays. I just got in a few minutes ago, so. Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't bring I it on. Watch, uh, yeah. Your show afterwards. yeah, yeah, I didn't bring it on the air. She just mailed it to me. I got it here because oh, I talked. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because I talked about how uh, I don't like my food touching, as you know, you know, yeah. you know. So, how are yeah, you doing? Like, um, when you go to cookouts. I'm sorry. I said that'd be cool going when you go to cookouts. Yeah. Well, yeah, Scott yeah. takes, Scott, Scott gets my food for me there, too. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some here. I got some with covers on it, too. Yeah, in fact, yeah. I brought one one time. We used to go to the, uh, uh, to Mike's, uh, yeah. you know, the cookouts. I used yeah. to bring one of them with me. Yeah. Well, when things start getting better, we're going to start having them all over again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's hope, you know. Oh, it's yeah. just getting so sickening. Yeah. Mary well, used to make know. Mary used to make some unusual dishes. I'd look at them and then come out delicious. <laughs> you know? and, and my daughter-in-law does not like carrots. She. I don't uh, like them cooked. No, Mary will make carrots, and she, well, whatever and how Mary ever does it, but my daughter-in-law yeah. will eat them. Then there's times I make them just for her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. It's an old Canadian re recipe. Yeah, you know. So how you feeling? Uh, today was a lousy day yeah. for me, and I get good days, I get bad days, and I, what can you say? Got to live yeah. with it. Yeah. Well, today before I came here, it's kind of like pouring me until I got here, you know. Cause, That's because you knew you were going to see us. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm going to go through hell and back. <laughs> But yeah, it was one of those days where you know what what is the hell is going on, and I'm sure everyone yeah. else get those. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And hey, I took your advice, Mary. I went to Walmart and bought that cat food for what up forty cans for twenty dollars. Yes, isn't it good? Yeah, you know. Yeah, you got the the what they call pate. Yeah. I get that once in a while, but they like the shredded one though. Yeah, that's they what like my that cats one. do too. In theirs, uh -uh. she likes the pate. Okay, my 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 boy, he's just not that fussy now, you know. And then of course you have to buy a toy for the dogs. <laughs> I don't want you in <laughs> trouble. Cute. Yeah, you haven't. Wait till you meet Sonny. You'll like her, Mary. What kind is she? She's a beagle. A, a beagle? Oh, yeah. yeah, I met the beagle. Yeah, from Maine. Yeah. She's a maniac dog. <laughs> yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah. And had my daughter, had my granddaughter not rescued that dog, I'll tell you that that dog would not be alive today. It was full of ticks and it had lime. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so my daughter, my granddaughter. I hate it when people just throw away their pets. Yeah. That, you know, what would you talk about? And I think you agree with us, Mary, that, you know, all they ask for is love and care. That's it. Yeah. That's and it. Chi and and chicken. And chicken. spades. Huh? And they'll give it back to you in spades. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. And my, Mary's cat likes that. Uh, you want to say hi? Mary's cat likes bas hi. Basket, uh, market basket chicken. Say hi. Well, that's her cat. She got one that talks. Yeah, Sophie, I, I tried to make her say hi. She yeah. just kept on saying hi yeah. and two yeah. minutes ago. Yeah. 
She, Crystal likes the uh, uh, the bucket basket uh, uh, barbecue and chicken. <laughs> oh, the chicken! Oh my God, that cat! She's something else. <laughs> what comes that chicken? So, Mary, how do you? We were, you want for her. Yeah. How do you feel about being forced to get your cat shots? You should be able to because you want to, not be forced to. I don't. I never heard of that. I know you can when you go to the vet. Yeah. They, they got to make sure they do have a, their shots for a reason. Because right. if the cat or dog don't have it, and they, let's say they bit, you know, the vet or something, you'll be responsible if yeah. you get an infection from it, which yeah. I did yeah. one time from Sophie. She, where I lived before with a hellhole in plain English. Yeah. And uh, I was only there three months and moved out. And yeah. the noise was terrible with you know, the bang and the yeah. running and everything else. And it was like two o'clock in the morning, one big bang, it woke me up and this poor cat went across my face. When she did, she got my eye. Mm. So I had to see the doctor. I didn't see her right off. A couple of days later, I went and I had to go to the emergency room because it closed up on me. Because yeah. that's why they want, um, you know, how you call it, for rabies. And yeah. so if they do scratch you, you don't get an infection because their nails are very, um, I know the word I can't say, yeah. that you can get an infection from their nails. But I, I guess my thing is, I don't think we should be forced to do it. Like no, the government, no, like, no. I don't think I agree we should. With have, that. I, agree I don't with agree that, that we. No, and that when you that. have a cat, or an, I'm lucky you don't have to register a cat, but when you have a dog, you have to register the dog. And now they microchip them, and that's okay. That part's okay. But yes, I don't feel yeah. that you should have to do it. And I feel that you should do it because you want to do it. You know, yeah, and I'm not saying there's anything microchip. wrong with rabies. I'm not saying there's nothing, anything wrong with neuterizing your cat. Some men should be neuterized. You know that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, <laughs> we, when my foundation, I'm gonna get back into do it raising again. Uh, we we will do all that. And I said uh, that we will pay for. I get get back to owning it. That it's gonna call get back into Norman. I mean. Uh, Healing Ponds, N.H., yes. and what, what I want to do is rebuild it back up again because I let it go to hell, now i got to rebuild it. And we'll pay for everything, but we won't pay for neutering, we won't pay for spading, uh, the rain because you get those from the government. But we said we would pay for the husbands getting neutered. <laughs> good thing I live in Maine. Yeah. Isn't that a good thing, Mary? Huh? Wouldn't that be a good thing, having the... Uh, has it neutered and we'll pay for it? That would be good. You know, you can go through Friends of, it's called Friends of Animals. Right. It's, it's a great organization. Uh -huh. And anybody wants to hook up with them, it's called Friends of Animals. And they will pay over half of the cat to be yeah. neutered or dog. Yeah. yeah. See, that when I so get it. They used to pay for the whole thing. Right. Well, there is a government. Program through the agricultural, the agricultural that will pay for the rabies shots. It will pay for the, mm -hmm. the neutering and the spading. Yeah. Even and, and they should probably do it on the wild loose women too. We'll pay for the spading of the loose women too, so no, so that the men won't feel like we're leaving them out. You know. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, but yeah. Then tomorrow I have to go. I have another see what I'm going to be doing. And, yeah. You know, and, and then. Uh, Marion, did I tell you? Yeah, I told you I talked to Irene, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I'll have to bring that globe. She made me a beautiful globe with a unicorn in it. I'll have to bring it right. in here. Yeah, and I got the the uh, pyramid. Yeah. And then yeah. I'm wearing the I watch. See, if I got the present. What's he, he called? The Buddha. Yeah, my Buddha. Yep. That yeah. was given to me by my yeah. former co-host. That's know. beautiful. And I, I yeah, I got to start bringing it back in again. You know. And, but Mary, how was that car of yours running? It's running good. It's running better for no one. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. saw that. <laughs> yeah, you know. But uh, how have you been? How have you been feeling, Mary? You know, I get days that's good, and I get days that bleh, you know, it's yeah. just normal for me. So right. Got to live with it. Yeah. You know, usually I try to be upbeat today, but today is just yeah. everything. You know, I mean, once in a while, like with you, I'm sure it all catches up with you. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you say, why, yeah, what the hell, I've had it, you know, and like that, you've had enough of it. And Scott has been so patient with it. You know, he didn't even listen to me anymore. Yeah, like Scott's a good guy. Yeah, I think so. He ought to be after 25 cook. years. Yeah. Oh, he's a great cook. You know. He really is. Scott's a good well, cook. Really? Yeah. yeah. My son Scott, named... you can cook for me anytime. <laughs> you hear that, Scott? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you, you, Mary cannot get on my Facebook. No, I can't. I no, don't know. I, don't I know still, still have it. Yeah. I tried well, every yeah. which way but loose to try to get on there. I try to go and you know someone that you're friends with. Yeah. And they they don't even have you on there. Wow. Well, friends. Yeah. I can't even get to them to try to get to you. I just huh. I just can't get to you anyway. Well, that's pretty weird, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. So, but anyway, Mary, I saw her, I went to New Boston um, Saturday, and yeah. this house that I went to, you would have loved it. It was an old 1840 looking house. You oh, know? nice. And the people there were all super friendly. You know, <laughs> we spoke to a whole man, you know. Uh, uh, we <laughs> <laughs> but it was super, super friendly. And next time I go down there, Mary, I'll have you go with me. Okay. Okay. But one thing I'm looking at, Mary, you've got a lot of good news coming to you this year. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, really, there's a lot of healing. There's some kind of a, an experimental drug that they may want you to try. Yeah, and, and my doctor's talked about that. Okay, I would probably hesitate a little bit on that, but I think it would work for you. Yeah, it is one that, that they've been... They want me to go to Boston. I don't want to. No, yeah. To see a specialist for my kidneys. Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, well, and then you gotta want make sure you you gotta make sure your insurance will cover it too. Even yeah. though they call yeah. you an expert, I think if they're gonna do experimental drugs on you, why should you have to pay for it? Exactly. Yeah. You know. No, I wouldn't. I, there's no way I would. No. You know. No. Yeah, you know. I take enough medicine now. Oh yeah. Well, my son, as you know, had a hole in the throat, but it's healing. That's and all that. How's he doing with he's, that? He's doing a lot better. Then they went and had a scan done, and he they found a lot of mucus and stuff because of yeah. the hole in there. So he's getting better. How's Tammy doing? Tammy's doing excellent. Good. She, she and I meet when the cancer specialist tomorrow. I don't know what I do without her. You know, they feel good. It's and, good to have family. Uh, it sure is. And as you know, Mary knows what it is to have. Uh, she has nieces and nephews that are good for her. Right, Mary? Yep, yep. The sister's yep. a different That's story. so good, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know. Okay, well then, Mary, I'm going to let you go. And Alrighty. we'll talk to you a little bit, okay? All right, we'll yep. get you all later. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye. Yeah. The next full moon, you should be getting a lot of positive energy coming into you. A lot of positive. Boy, that's a heck of a full tender, isn't it? Huh? You, get a <laughs> beat. I mean, you, know, you should get a lot of things like that. Do you, with him, I do see when a full moon that your whole uh, personality changes. Okay. I mean, for some reason, that you, our body become more active and a lot more, you know what I mean? It becomes, and like when I worked with a Mexican child, boy, you could tell me it was a full moon coming out there. I think that's the way the dogs are. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I would look at it. If you sit out, you live near a wooded area, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And you have a deck or a yep. point. Okay. I would listen to the breeze. I would listen to the Indian. You can really hear the Indian. You more are more in tune with the spirits of the outside world than a lot of you even realize. You have a lot of Indian ancestry. Really? Yeah. You have a lot of, you actually, one of your Indian guys is a, a medicine woman. Hmm. Way back in the 1700s. Wow. So you're an old soul. I'm very old. Very old. <laughs> you're actually older than your husband. <laughs> now he'll remind you of that. Right? right? <laughs> you're older than I yeah. am. <laughs> but they also, you two also, three past lives ago, knew each other back then. You know, mm-hmm. and you were always continuing on it. You have actually showed people that true love never dies. If it did, you would not be there. You yeah. know, but what you've gone through a hell of a lot with him. Yes, we have. But he's also gone through a hell of a lot with you too. Yep. You both can be very temperamental. Yep. But she's not too temperamental, is she? <laughs> not at all. No. 
typical, especially with that wrong time of the month. Yeah, that happened. I love the way people <laughs> avoid that. Men actually have that too, you know, and only it's just a different way of doing it, you know. <laughs> when you're driving, okay, how far away do you live from where you work? From where I work? Um, depends on what time of day. <laughs> about 15 minutes. Because I'm concerned about somebody driving on the wrong side of the road, and so you have to be aware that on your way to work, yep. you know, it's kind of darkish out, and I'll be very aware of the people on the, on driving Oh, on. I'm very aware of mm, the idiots driving around yeah. me. You live on a windy road? No. So you're all straightforward? I'm all straightforward. I go straight Get down Get up my and go! Straight down my road, straight down this one, and straight down that one. <laughs> yeah, little old lady from from Maine. <laughs> Instead of Pasadena, that little right. old lady from Maine. Go, 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 you know. She's like a little Shirley Modani. <laughs> yeah. Probably put her on a racetrack. She'd probably outrun all the people on a racetrack, mm. too. Yeah. I'm going yeah. around corners. They no. scare me. <laughs> Do you like to drive? Yes and no. Yeah. Sometimes the longer drives uh, bother my legs. Yeah. With Mary, I, I used to ride with her when she'd take me a few places. And we went over and we did a charity event over at the Southern New Hampshire Services here. And let me tell you, I don't know, she used to be a truck driver, I believe. <laughs> Mary, if you're a truck driver, give me a call and say yes or no. But she, I mean, she could take this car that she had a big red caddy. <laughs> and I know, she's not going to make it. She's not going to make it. She's not going to make it. <laughs> Zoom right in there. Then you, she made it. She made it. You know, <laughs> I'll never admit I was a. I was never that good of a driver. I hated driving. My daughter will look at me when I go to pull in a spot because I have a um, a town and country. So when I go to pull in, she goes, and I go, "Would you relax?" <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how I've never gotten into an accident. Yeah, I almost got in one yesterday. Uh huh. That's a warning sign to be aware. I, I can remember driving home from uh, Concord to Laconia on the left-hand side of the road on 106. I've had too much to drink. That's when you know the spirits are watching over you. Yeah, oh. they, they had to be yesterday because uh, I was getting on, not really getting on to the Portsmouth traffic circle because I was going this way. So, but I had to wait for the cars. And there was two in front of me and they started to move. I looked to see what was coming and I got a clear shot. I turned, and just as I put my foot on the gas, the cars in front of me stopped. Yeah. So yeah. I had to slam my eye. I was like, Yeah, and that would have been, yeah, been your fault. Yeah, mm. it would have. Yeah. Scared the hell out of me, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> the next time you guys come down, we'll go out for dinner. Okay. If I'm not in pain, we'll go out for dinner. Sure. Time for you to soar. Do you understand what I mean by that? Fly. Fly. I'm going to next month. <laughs> when you fly, oh, you're going to Washington. No, I mean soar with your enemy. I mean your your energy. Energy. And knowing that you're going to lose your weight. Don't try so hard. I'll try not to try so Repeat hard. Repeat after me. I am not going to try. I am not going to try. So hard. So hard. To lose my weight. I am going to do it in the time that the Spirit allows me to. I'm going to do it in the time the Spirit allows me to. Because otherwise you're going to, Dairy Queen, here I come. <laughs> but you like Dairy Queen too. Mm, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the blizzard. I try not to eat it as much. Peanut butter cups. I'm not blizzard. supposed to have Chocolate it. Chocolate ice cream, extra peanut butter cups. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, oh, I love peanut butter cups. I'm not. But <laughs> I, 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 my thing is, Chips. Yeah, I'm not and I got to get away from them because I'm not a down big the salt. Person. Unless I got got my tea. They don't make it anymore. Clam dip. I have not been able to find clam dip around. Clam dip. Oh, I love clam dip. I haven't heard, heard of that in a long I've time. I've never seen it. No, I guess it didn't sell well. You know, mm. uh, French onion ring dip. Oh, I like. I like dips on chips. You know. Yeah, I like the French onion or uh, mm. um, the spinach. Yeah. Spinach, yeah. That's really good. We actually, when we do any French, uh, I mean, the spinach, we actually, like, if we're making a macaroni salad, so I'll put that in with it. I mean, that's not enough flavor. Mm. He's a pretty good cook, and you can tell. 
Your life is really chaotic at times, isn't it? Yes, and it has been the past week. But you know what? <laughs> you wouldn't survive without it being chaotic. Hmm. You will make your, bored. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. You would make your own chaotic way of doing things. So you truly need to have that chaotic mess in your life. But it's calming down. Yes. And that's a good Things thing. Things are starting to come in. You know. Your husband can make you pretty chaotic when it wants to be. He can instigate you when he wants to get mm. you going. Yes, you do. And then you and Brittany team up. You would look innocent, right? You would never do <laughs> that, would you? <laughs> your daughter look at the is eye, Brittany. Daddy. <laughs> your daughter is your twin. Yes, yes, she is. <laughs> Most no. definitely. So when you fight one, you fight two. Yes. But you always win. She took you, my gavel. <laughs> she it wasn't your gavel. <laughs> your gavel? <laughs> Why, were you a judge? I buy. I bought a the wooden hammer thing for leather, doing working with leather. And he hijacked it and said, this is my gavel. And he's been slamming it on the table saying, it is so. <laughs> so I took it away from him. <laughs> Are you telling me he asked childish? Yes. <laughs> you were that childish, would you? No, no, no. But it's fun once in a while, you know? But and all in all, I actually see your mother, I'm concerned about her health deteriorating. And I'm actually looking at her and getting early dementia. We've been having some um, issues. She's been, her, her blood levels keep dropping. Yeah. And um, she just had a bone biopsy yesterday and hopefully we'll find out next week what the results of that is oh i hate that waiting i, mm. I see cancer in the bones oh i hope not <laughs> we'll pray that nothing happened i'll pray i'm yeah. wrong okay <laughs> let me know okay but i also that, did your dad also pass yeah okay because she wants to be with him she thinks of him a lot okay. they but. talk to each other all the time if you see her talking to him, you hear her talking, she's actually talking with him. Mm. Same way with her, her parents. Okay. I'm a firm believer that we do talk to our spirits in, in or out loud. I, I used to um, hear people talking, and, and a lot of times, too, I will hear people carrying on a hell of a conversation <laughs> with me when they're in themselves. And they're really, actually, I'm a firm believer they're really actually talking to the spirits from the other side. I'll go talk to my father. I'll sit. I'll sit. Go to the cemetery and I'll okay. sit there and talk to him. My, my, uh, I had a roommate whose father was a very good friend of mine, and they called him. They could not predict his diagnosis. You know, they turned him on schizophrenia drugs and paranoid, you name it. He was a walking drugstore with it. You would hear him talking to himself and the loudness you could hear. And I truly believe that he was actually talking to the people that were on the other side that he knew before he came here. Because the one thing I do believe, and this is just me, is that um, if we are in a car accident or have like a, or an accident of some sort, that we still, you know, because when we hit something, let's say you're in a car accident, you run into a tree, okay? And you know, I do not, and one thing I do believe is that, you know, your spirit is in such a confused state that it's working, doesn't know if it should be here, if it should be over there. And then, you know, and I can, you, you're going to be talking to the peers from the other side, and no doctor can tell me I'm wrong. What they call it is paranoia schizophrenia, but yet they can't give you the medication to take care of it. Right. Right. You know, and that's the thing that is really, really annoying. Are you having trouble communicating there, Scott? Facebook's been following up all day. All I'm getting is buffering wheels. All I'm getting is what? Buffering, buffering wheels. Oh. Facebook's been messing up all day. Oh. Well, just shut it down then, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not supposed to blame Facebook, folks. Good thing to blame. You know, I had a guy that come on, and in fact, I'm going to have him come on again. And they, I put a show on YouTube with me, and they took it off. And they gave me a warning. Next time I put it on, I would be punished. Uh oh. And he, and he did nothing YouTube wrong. YouTube jail? Yeah. <laughs> And all he did was speak about how he doesn't like doing the, you know, the virus shots and all that. Yeah, but YouTube, uh, YouTube's new algorithm yeah. doesn't allow you to speak about the virus. No. You know. So. And they deleted one of my, my show, and I don't care. I've got them back on again. I just won't put it on YouTube. 
I'll find other ways of doing it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, and what, and I always thought freedom of speech was one of our amendment rights. It is. Yeah. But the problem is that we're running into with Google and uh, Facebook and all these other companies is they don't have to, they don't have to give you your first amendment rights because they own the company. Yeah. So it's a private, it's a private business or a business who does not have to yeah. give you your yeah. God-given rights. Yeah. You swear in the Netherlands, I think it is, is where uh, YouTube, uh, I mean, uh, well, one of them, like, you know, YouTube was fined $2.2 million for violation of people's rights. Right. I think it was in the, I can't, it was either in the Netherlands or it was in Switzerland, wherever like that. And it should be here. Yeah. The Democrats can say all they want. But as a Trump follower and Trump fan, you can't. Yeah. But I'll always be a Trump fan. You know, a diehard Trump 2024. fan. 2024. Yep. <laughs> you, know, you know, I one of my friends brought in a big statue of Trump. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I've always worn Trump hat. And I went into um on Second Street. Oh heck. Oh heck. Scott, what's the name of that restaurant on Second Street? Um, the one that we, my friend David and I got really bad service. Oh, Applebee's? Applebee's. Can I have make it great again? I knew that that was why I got bad service. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny part is, the woman that gives the bad service, my friend Dave, who worked for Lyft, gave her a ride and she didn't even recognize who he was. <laughs> <laughs> and she even tipped him. <laughs> I didn't tip him. <laughs> I didn't tip the waitress, you know, you know, because, and then I had the people that will tell me, how can you be a spiritual reader if you're a Trump person? I don't know what my political views have got to do with my spiritual side. Correct. And, <clears throat> if I have to be controlled. Why can't people agree to disagree? Right. If you don't agree with somebody, get over it. Poke them in the eye. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> No, I, folks, I'm only kidding. I, I have a one. best friend. We disagree on a lot of that type of views, political views and when stuff like that. Friends. But we're still really good friends. You know, <laughs> you know and that's it. You don't have to agree with me. No. And if I'm doing a reading on you, you don't think the way I'm doing it, that's okay. You can tell me. Yeah. You know? Well, you go to Walmart a lot? Yes. I can see you by the gift, uh, winning a gift card from them, $500. Sweet. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't steal it from you. <laughs> oh, your daughter will take it. Hopefully, it's not a vanilla Wally. <laughs> One more card. But oh, that, that's right. My daughter-in-law be very careful on the, my daughter-in-law. My son and daughter-in-law got a thing from uh, Amazon saying that blah blah blah. And yep. when he opened it up, it was a scam. <laughs> yep. They had to change their bank account and all this other stuff. And I hate it when they call you and it's a bunch of garbage and I'll tell you know I won't say what I say to them. <laughs> I keep getting emails telling me that my Amazon account's been hacked I'm like I don't have one I mean I go on Amazon but I don't have an Amazon card anymore uh, well, they <laughs> so tell me that that's like they told me I withdrew on my Amazon card you know because I got some stuff on it and so I said, okay, I sent that. Okay, well, let's cancel the order. Be interested to see if I get my order on Friday. I've gotten a lot of stuff from, actually, I've got a very nice, when I Amazon or uh, uh, Walmart, we get the TV from Scott. Uh, get the TV from Walmart. Walmart. I've got a, That's a good, they've got some good TVs. Yeah. And they have one for $800, I get it for 400 That's cheap. Mm. You know, you know and that's like, um, I like cold, and I order from Amazon or Walmart. Yeah, pants from Walmart, thirty-six, and they're too too tight, so they're not thirty-six. But yeah, I'll get them from That's other stores. That's because every year they change. They, yeah. they they change the sizes. Yeah. You know, this year will be thirty-six. Yeah. Next year, your thirty-six will actually be like a forty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're better off to go in person and try them on instead of buy them online. You know. Yeah. With you, I don't need. With you, I do see a lot of healing coming into your body. I also see you losing like 45 pounds. Outstanding. And you two should have a contest who can, you, who can <laughs> lose the most. No, because that's not fair. Men, men do it quicker. 
and lose it quicker. That's not true. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I didn't even it's try. It's proven. Well, <laughs> well, I broke my high heels, so that's probably why I lost my weight. You know, <laughs> but um, we're together. I mean. I, you know, you got the new sisters, and if it works for them, more power to it. So everything you see on TV is all about dieting, losing weight, losing weight. And that gets discouraging. It costs yeah. you a lot of money to do well, it. It's of discouraging when, when you get the, the BMI and the doctors are telling you that you're severely obese. I, I think four or five hundred pounds is severely obese, not or morbidly obese. But you know what? One thing about you, your bones are big. Yeah. So and you know how to dress well, so you don't look like you know. I try. Yep. Say. And I and I have my fashion consultants. <laughs> when I look at the, this, is your fashion consultant. One of them between him and my daughter and my girlfriend. <laughs> And when I was at Walmart, and that's it, they had, I, I felt so sorry for that cart, what do you call it, that shopping cart they ride on. Uh, I, I was almost in tears, that's how big this person was. Hmm. And she's reaching for the candy, and she's reaching for this. Yeah, and that's, and that. that's the sad that usually it's like, okay, I don't know their story, you know, maybe they have a, no. so you know, not to be may, the judge. maybe they have a medical condition, but then when you see their cart loaded with junk, then like, okay, maybe it's a, cross between a medical condition and a hand-to-mouth condition. Yeah. Have you ever watched on, uh, what is that, the uh, Learning Channel, where they had these people, I weigh 600 pounds or whatever on there? Yes. Oh, I've seen those. I haven't, I haven't really watched TV in a, in a while. I've, I got a TV from my room for Christmas, and um, I usually watch Netflix or something like that, and I bet I don't watch regular TV. I watch a lot of the wrestling. You can do I know it's all it's all show now, but I still enjoy it. I just, the thing I do say about <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Thank you. The new thing I, I do think about that is that you talk about gang beatings. If you look on wrestling, you got four or five guys beating on one. Isn't that a gang beating? <laughs> and how many kids that love wrestling will think it's okay? Yeah. Well, they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, you know, they and the. Um, Backyard wrestling, that's pretty, you know, and uh, one of these girls, they, I can remember the old, when you used to watch it, Fabulous Lula and all these other women, there, and they dressed appropriately. Now it's all Now they look like a bunch of, yeah. yeah, street walkers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. They make a lot of money. You and I don't make it, but I don't want to pay their taxes either. No. No. And one time, these wrestling, and I do like wrestling, I really do, like we watch it, it's good, that's good on TV. Unless I watch something like, uh, the, I like Gunsmoke. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I like uh, The Rifleman. Yep. Once a while, but and once a while. I like the old movies. Andy Griffith. Yeah, oh, I, still, I watch him every night. You know. In but, uh, One Adam 12. Yeah. Uh, you watch Wagon Train? No, that I don't like. No? No. But you know what? That was good taste. You know, I mean, they didn't have all that vulgarity and all that. And that you can't. now they're not even censoring what they're doing, saying <laughs> on TV. We do here. Yeah. I use the word BS. I won't say it one. And they actually censored it right out. You know, so you will have to watch that. You know. Yeah. Or they, or they give you that. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and they can kick you off the air. You know. But the one, I'm glad you guys came. Because you know, I think we're, all of us are like. With you and your post-traumatic stress, is that, mm -hmm. did I get there it right? You're almost right, <laughs> that PMS. <laughs> you know. how, how, what did you first know you had that? Um, when I was told, I, I honestly, she was the one who talked me into going to see a counselor because my attitude was changing. She, uh -huh. she saw me getting very angry very quick after the after the fire and um, so being a good husband afraid of the frying pan <laughs> I went is there an iron one cast iron cast iron yeah that could hurt yeah it does it does it's my fault if he walks into them that's what happened i was just holding it that's it and you just had to walk right into it 
So do you want some eggs? And yeah. he smacked his head. I, yeah. I apparently he didn't want eggs. No. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it, it was um, it was shortly after the Miami fire. Mm -hmm. um, Within about a year, probably less than that. It was even less than that because um, the uh, when I went and saw the, the counselor. We talked about what things that were going on. She had me r start writing in, writing a a, uh, a log, a, 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 I guess a log or a memoirs, if you want to call it that, the, from my earliest memory, and just start writing down a bunch of my memories. So I was writing them down, and then, uh, funny enough, that the last entry was August eighth of two thousand twelve because I was in, uh, the woman ran me over August 9th of 2012. So, and I lost my memory from 2012 all the way back. And luckily enough, I had written all that stuff down so I can actually go back and read it and find out what kind of a chucklehead I was. So. So does it make you appreciate what you have today? Very much so. Hey, he forgot where we lived. I'm sorry? He said he had forgotten where we lived, uh, the car I had. Hmm. So, you know, this is where, no matter what I've had or what I may have, whatever, I'm grateful for what I have or mm -hmm. what, how I do to, because when I hear stories like yours, mm -hmm. uh, I would probably encourage you to write a book. I'd also encourage you to start writing your, your journal again. You know, go back and compare it to what you have now. And I also want to encourage you, the wife of someone who has PMS. <laughs> That's a great title. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, PSTD? PTSD. Oh, PTSD. But I, you know what, I, think, I, I, I really think that is a winning title. PMS? Yeah, the wife living the the wife living with someone with PMS. Yeah, I actually would encourage you to write that. It doesn't yeah, necessarily I be think that, that would be a great title. And then at the bottom, write you know, you know, just a little blurb and yeah. let her go to town. I would I would encourage you to write that. She started a couple books and she's. I still have it. And have how your your dog is a big comfort to you. Your dog your dog knows when you're going through stress, doesn't he? Oh yes. And he's very protective of you. Oh, yes. yes. To the point where he'll crawl up on top of me and not let anybody near me. And you can't get him down either. No. And he likes to cuddle like a squirrel in a trash bag. <laughs> he is all over the place when he's on my lap. He cannot sit still. 120 pound rot trying yeah. to cuddle. How many? 120. He's 125, 125 actually. <laughs> but he's, what he's doing, he's taking that energy away. Yeah. yeah. And same thing. Cats will do the same thing. Yeah, and, you know, and that's what people don't realize with an animal, like my little kitty cat when, when I came, or my dog before she passed. But these animals that when I come across and tell you, that's actually Scott's dog cat. You know, at night and make sure it goes right in there on Scott's bed. Yeah, the cat, the cat's with me. And matter, matter of fact, within the past like year and a half, she's started sleeping right here under the covers. She'll go under the covers, come back up, and flop. She doesn't lay down, she flops. And if she doesn't want that position, she'll turn around and flop the other way. Well, my son's dog, they have, they give her bar what to call barking time, from like, we'll say, 8 in the morning till like 4.30 when the landlady gets home. And she had that curtain put up so she looked out. She broke a little hole. So she, and I swear when I buy her a new toy, she'll stop barking, hey, look at my toy I got. And then when it's time for her to go to the end, she'll look at Tammy, and then she crawls under the blankets. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I had a dog, his name was Budweiser. I got him, and he would, it's amazing how when they tell you, does your dog tell you what time to go to bed? Uh, he does. Yeah, he comes in and tells me, yeah, because, well, actually, my shepherd will come in, and she'll come in and nudge me when she knows I'm like sleeping in my office chair, and I'm not supposed to be. She'll come in, and she'll actually hit me with a nose, and I'll be like, looking around. She'll be sitting there like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I'll be like, Time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Dad, so you're not supposed to you sleep don't. There. <laughs> so you don't sleep in a bed. You sleep in your recline. I have to sleep. I have to sleep in a recline position. I cannot lay back. I cannot lay on. My, 
So like uh, a couple weeks ago when I had my MRI done, it took me, what, three days to recover from that because it puts too much pressure on my neck. So don't they have beds that are medically that you can elevate so that you can help your breathing? They do, but they're not very uh, cost uh, that's effective. Well, yeah. Well, if we could get comp to pay for it, yeah. right? And uh, okay. if we could get work, the government yeah, pay for because it because the government. I tried getting the government to pay for the chair that I have, and they won't do it. See, that's it, folks. Right. The insurance, good for the insurance control. That's like when you go to a doctor. First thing they said to me, "What insurance do I have?" And I told them, "Well, we don't know if your insurance will yeah pay for it or not." So. Yeah. Well, I said I'd just have to become a streetwalker. The problem is, though, I'd have to get that change. I wouldn't like that. You become a long. mechanic, too, because they get 125 bucks an hour. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I wouldn't even look. I, they don't look like. I could tell somebody what's wrong with their car, but once you lift that cover, it's almost like spaghetti wire. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm good at you know, predicting like that. When you have, the, you, know, you, you have a fairly new car? Yep. Okay. I'm concerned about the brakes. Oh no, they work good. Yeah. Maybe too good, right? <laughs> yeah, it could be yours. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I have had my brakes replaced or not. Because they did a really great job yesterday. Uh, yours? Yeah. Too good. <laughs> You know. Everything that was in the back kind yeah. of slid forward, yeah. but I actually see your daughter getting, you know, getting a promotion or get a whole job all together. But she's pretty routine. Yes. Yes. She goes to work, she comes home, stays in her room. There is a uh, there is a job opening at her work, but she doesn't feel as if she's qualified. Well, she's qualified. Mm -hmm. you know, it just irritates but I think they're giving it to somebody outside anyway, so they want an outside They person. wanted somebody who's in between the ages of 30 and 40. Yeah. She's going to be 30 years old this year. Mm -hmm. That's age discrimination. Well, whether you're yeah. old or whether you're it's still age discrimination. Right. I went to I went, I went to a job interview. I didn't really want to. Work. I just wanted to see if I could do it. And uh, they tried to tell me blah blah blah. And I said no. Uh, you know that I can see you because he didn't come right out and then he went around the bush. And I said for you not hiring, that's fine. But you know that I can go for age discrimination. You know that, right? You want to see that lady's face go red? <laughs> her makeup was gonna fall off. <laughs> She needed like a, when she took her makeup off, she probably needed like a uh, cotton knife to cut the makeup <laughs> off. You know, that's like when they, Coca-Cola says they're teaching people to be less white. I'm proud that I'm white. I, I mm. heard that. I was like, what the? I won't buy Coca-Cola products. I don't buy a whole lot of soda. I you drink Schweppes. Well, I don't know, you know who that I is. I got but. thinking about that. <laughs> Everybody that wants to run out and get a tan. For what reason? Oh, I'm milky white or whatever. So what? You know? Brittany's afraid of the sun. <laughs> I don't blame her. Good for her. After I got sunburned, I'm not going to say where, but I got sunburned. She, she's actually, and ever since she was little, I've always had to put um, lotion in her hair because her scalp will burn because yeah. of, I mean, she's fair skinned and yeah. she's got red hair. So yeah. Well, that's what happened burns. to me. I was in Arizona. Ooh. And I got burned in an unmentionable place. <laughs> I don't even want to know how you managed that. <sighs> well. You well, went to one of them beaches, didn't you, Norm? Yes, I did. <laughs> and I fell asleep. <laughs> they had to rush me to the hospital. Yeah. And Emerson said, I thought, you know, it's funny. I've always been a redhead, but as a kid, and then baby played out in the summer. But as you got older and you get older, I was like a walking freckle factory. Hmm. My first time when you say freckles mean beauty, I said, oh, I'm beautiful. She said, I said, they mean beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah, Brittany used to try and scrub hers off. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> but well, she was told those are angel kisses. And they are. And my mother used to say, like, like go out and she, I'd cut a whole bunch of pussy willows, put them on a stove, because she told me the cats would come out of it, you know, shit. <laughs> You know, and then she laughed. If mother, if, if mothers were if more like my foster mother, I had an awesome, awesome foster mother. You know, I sometimes felt like I was a burden to her because you know, because you went, weren't yeah, hurt. Right, and but she was so good to me. But I also know that when she when I moved out, she moved to another place. But 
she was always there for me, you know. And uh, so, folks, when you go home and you see your parents, I think you're going to agree with me, and you will say, it's okay to go and tell your mom and your dad you love them. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Every time I hang up the phone. Yeah. And it's okay to tell your children you love them. She cringes, but she okay. secretly likes it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But it's okay. It's okay to hug them. My son and I, we don't hug it on emotional that way, but we do know when uh, I'm dying love that that's, yeah. I didn't realize how much he loved me until I thought he was crying because of my sickness, you know. But family. Yeah, it's hard. I, yeah. m my great nieces and nephews and my nephews, and I'm coming out of that one work. Let me know how much they care. That, cool. if Good. you have the, yeah. like your support, I appreciate and that, it. And, that, and that's, how you, that's how you know people care when they're, you know, when our family's big on, if somebody's got a problem or somebody needs help, we we gather. We yeah. it, it's like yeah. full on. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. it, it, it's it's everyone gathers together. Yeah. What can I do to help? Yeah. Um, my my cousin was diagnosed with um, cancer, um, lung cancer, and he has brain cancer. The brain cancer is in remission, and I believe I got all of the lung cancer. He had surgery, and he's doing pretty well, but it's I know scary because yeah. he had just lost his mother's cancer. Yeah. And I, and then one thing I said, that's me. I lost my whole family with it, you know. And even, but if it, if I didn't have the support of my son and daughter, you're gonna go get a doctor, and Scott, you know, and all their friends. I would have never gone. Yeah, that's how important family is. And it's important to listen to those family members when they tell you you need to do something. Especially when they have PMS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about you and your PMS. Now. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> your daughter watching the show? Yes. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> She's probably laughing. Yeah. She was watching on uh, Facebook. Yeah. She is. I love having her on as a host. She's going to come back on again. Okay. She'd but, like it. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go, and thank you both for coming on. I love Absolutely. having you two on. And if I, always, I know one thing I can know for sure, you did a good job on my show the last time. I need to have someone expect to be getting calls saying I have to have a replacement for that day. You know, and it was fun. Wasn't yeah. It? yeah, a little nerve wracking, but fun. We did yeah, pretty yeah. good for a last minute. <laughs> yeah, it was a last minute. Oh, what the hell am I gonna talk about? Right, right. I mean, I won't say the word you actually used, <laughs> but it was great. And it was I a wanna, PMS moment. Yeah, I, I wanna, <laughs> one thing I do want to do, because I've wandered a show and I've sold the show, I apologize, but um, I want to talk more about the P, whatever you call it, PDSLMNIT. PMS, you know. <laughs> but I never realized that men actually get it too. Yes. That's like I never realized that men actually get breast cancer. Yep. You know, and that's real. Folks, Everything out here that we've talked about between what he has and I have, it is real. Men do get it. One out of 8,000, I think they said, and one woman out of 1,000. Oh, you know? actual PMS. Yeah, and yeah. cancer, press cancer. Yes. You know? It's real, folks. Take better, take better care of yourself. Think about healthy thoughts. And remember, every day, you are the winner. I'll see you next week.